I am afraid of food being lonely in my stomach, so I always <laughs> eat two of everything. <laughs> Right. I hope this is true. Yeah. All right, Chris's team. Um, how long have you been doing this, Pia? Years. <laughs> and do two things mean, like, two chips, two whole potatoes? Where, when is the mm. quantity? Two chickens? <laughs> I eat two mouthfuls in twos and chips in twos so that everyone has a best friend in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, it's but if you have it, <laughs> I don't know if this helps or not. But I've known Pia for years, and she is a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> is it the same for drinks? Do you have to have two sips of drinks so the drinks aren't lonely, or is it just for food? Just for food because they're solid, and so drinks, it's more of a, a like an abstract concept in my <laughs> in my belly. Whereas yeah. food... Yeah. Let's, so, yeah, so let's... Food, food's more of a solid, liquid's more of a liquid. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's say you're at a breakfast buffet mm -hmm. and you've got <laughs> eggs, bacon, baked beans, toast, cereal. Describe your journey along that buffet table. Um, so two pieces of toast, two eggs, two slices of bacon and just one orange juice. OK, you start with the two pieces of toast. The first piece of toast is in there, it's a little bit lonely. I know, a second piece of toast. It's no longer lonely. There's no lonely food left in your stomach, so why do you even need to have any more food? And I could still be hungry after those two pieces of toast and then I'll be like, hey, maybe I'll I have two pieces of bacon. You're hungry again, but the, the second... You only need one piece of bacon. You don't need two pieces of bacon. If no, but then the bacon's lonely. No, because it's got toast down there to keep it company. No, no, no. no. But the toast could gang up on the bacon. Are you saying... <laughs> what kind of world do you live in where toast and bacon don't get on? You saying they need to have one of their own kind to yes. not be lonely? Oh yes, enter the one eggs. of their own. Enter the eggs. What a yeah. terrible yeah. world your stomach is in, I like know. where there's no globalisation, as it were. There's no. only it's a very ghettoised stomach. Absolutely. <laughs> and what would happen if you couldn't have two things? Yes. Say there was only one grape, and that was all you could have. What happens then? I just wouldn't have the grape. What if so? <laughs> If this is true, you know you get ten free sessions on Medicare? <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Susan? Oh, I mean, it's very... It's very, very odd. Very unlikely. Very odd. I... The giggling at the start, for me, is either... is pe potentially a red herring. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like, the kind of, like, well, how do I... What, oh, what's, yes. what's card? But whenever she does have a herring, she has two of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine, like, I can see, like, a little child, some, you know, here comes the something, and it's given, it's animated as a little being, mm. you know, when you're a child, and you swallow it, and you imagine it almost going down a slide or something. Yes. And I imagine so it's once scary, that's... too. What happens next to that sultana? Yeah. Well, it gets shit out. So... Well, that's what I was going to say. Hey, wouldn't you can like I to just be say, shut for out number twos... Hey. <laughs> Do you have to monitor that they're coming out two by two? <laughs> Less that one come out and the other one's still alone in there, friendless. I think the story ends once they disappear from my belly and then I feel like they died together and everything's going to be okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Truth or lie? Uh, look, I, I, I think it's a lie. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, I hope it's a lie for your sake. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lie. lie. I think. I think lie. I think lie. No, we don't buy it. We're going to say a lie. Yeah, Miranda, is that a truth or a lie? Oh gosh, <laughs> it is true. Oh. <laughs> Chris is genuinely worried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> No, I, never, no. I never thought of, like, the, what happens to them afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, it is time for your home truth. But we're just moving on as if that's normal, are we? <laughs> <laughs> you can ask her everything after the show, Chris. I'm sure you're full of questions.